China furious. U.S. again sends warship through Taiwan Strait. A U.S. warship again sailed through the sensitive Taiwan Strait on Tuesday, barely a month after a joint transit with Canada. It was part of what the U.S. military calls routine activity, but such moves always rile Beijing, as it believes Washington is trying to stir regional tensions. The U.S. Navy said the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer Milius conducted a routine Taiwan Strait transit through international waters in accordance with international law. The ship's transit through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates the U.S. commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. The United States military flies, sails, and operates anywhere international law allows, it added. Last month, the Chinese military condemned the United States and Canada for each sending a warship through the Taiwan Strait, saying they were threatening peace and stability in the region. Beijing claims self-ruled Taiwan as a breakaway territory, and has mounted repeated air force missions into the island's air defense identification zone over the past year or so, provoking anger in Taipei. The U.S., like most countries, has no formal diplomatic ties with Taiwan but is its most important international backer and arms supplier. Beijing calls Taiwan the most sensitive and important issue in its relations with Washington. U.S. Navy ships have been transiting the strait roughly monthly, to the anger of Beijing. U.S. allies occasionally also send ships through the strait, including Britain in September. Philippines sends resupply boats to Shoal after Chinese blockade. The Philippine military defiantly redeployed two supply boats on Monday to provide food to Filipino Marines guarding a disputed shoal in the South China Sea after the Chinese Coast Guard used water cannons to forcibly turn the boats away in an assault last week that drew angry condemnation and warnings from Manila. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana said the two civilian wooden-hold boats carrying Navy personnel left western Palawan province and should reach the Marine stationed on a Navy ship at 2nd Thomas Shoal after an overnight trip. Lorenzana said the boats aren't being escorted by the Navy or Coast Guard in accordance with a request by China's ambassador to Manila, who, he said, assured him in talks over the weekend that the boats would not be blocked again. A Navy plane will nevertheless fly over the remote shoal, which has been surrounded by Chinese surveillance ships in a years-long territorial standoff, when the Filipino boats reach it, the defense chief said. The Philippines says the shoal is in its internationally recognized exclusive economic zone, but China insists it has sovereignty over the waters. The Chinese ambassador assured me they will not be impeded but they requested there should be no escort, Lorenzana told reporters. Asked if he expects that the vessels won't be blocked, he replied, we will see. The government conveyed its outrage, condemnation and protest of the incident to China after two Chinese Coast Guard ships blocked the two Filipino boats on Tuesday and a third Coast Guard ship sprayed high-pressure streams of water on the boats, which were forced to abort their mission to transport food to the Marines guarding the shoal, officials said. U.S. threatens military response to China in South China Sea dispute. The State Department on Friday warned China that it risks military action from the United States in response to Chinese Coast Guard efforts to block the resupply of a Philippines island outpost. The department said in a statement that the Chinese Coast Guard operation Tuesday blocking Philippine resupply ships and using water cannons at 2nd Thomas Shoal in the Spratly Islands of the South China Sea could trigger the U.S.-Philippines Mutual Defense Treaty. The United States stands with our Philippine allies in upholding the rules-based international maritime order and reaffirms that an armed attack on Philippine public vessels in the South China Sea would invoke U.S. mutual defense commitments under Article 4 of the 1951 U.S.-Philippines Mutual Defense Treaty, the statement said. The United States strongly believes that China's 
actions asserting its expansive and unlawful South China Sea maritime claims undermine peace and security in the region. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin spoke to Philippines Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana by phone on Friday to discuss the standoff, saying the U.S. would stand with our Philippine allies. Secretary Austin reaffirmed the strong U.S. commitment to the Philippines under the Mutual Defense Treaty, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said in a statement. They agreed on the vital importance of peace and stability in the South China Sea and pledged to stay in close contact in the coming days. China has been militarily encroaching on the entire South China Sea since 2012. At that time, Chinese maritime vessels took control of the disputed Scarborough Shoal in the Spratlys, but the Obama administration took no action to support the Philippines, despite the mutual defense pact. Three hundred Chinese maritime militia vessels in Spratly Islands at any time, U.S. report. About three hundred Chinese maritime militia vessels operate in the Spratly Islands in the South China Sea on any given day as Beijing asserts its claims over the disputed waters, according to a U.S. think tank report. The report released on Friday by the Washington-based Center for Strategic and International Studies said the militia, comprised mostly of fishing vessels, had expanded and been involved in aggressive operations since 2000. Since the completion of China's artificial island outposts in 2016, militia boats have been deployed to the Spratlys in greater numbers and on a more constant basis than ever before, the report funded by the U.S. State Department said. The militia, as currently constituted in the South China Sea, operates from a string of 10 ports in China's Guangdong and Hainan provinces. Remote sensing data indicates that roughly 300 militia vessels are operating in the Spratly Islands on any given day. The report, titled, Pulling Back the Curtain on China's Maritime Militia, identified 122 militia vessels, as well as 52 other ships considered likely to be part of the militia, based on media reports, remote sensing data and maritime patrols in the disputed waters. It said nearly 100 militia boats were deployed near Philippine-occupied Thitu Island in 2018, and about 200 gathered at unoccupied Whitsun Reef in the spring of 2021. The size report said the maritime militia was more aggressive in harassing foreign military activity to which Beijing objected. It cited an incident in March 2009, when the U.S. surveillance ship USNS Impeccable was surrounded by five Chinese vessels, including two fishing boats, while operating 75 nautical miles south of Hainan.